usually use one ply heads. So um, it's more of an open tuning, but like completely open. Almost like um, a big band drum, or a big band drum sound, but with a really, you know, open bass, no, no muffling in the bass drum. So that's this kind of sound. That's right? what we have today. Yeah, yeah that's so today. So I like, I like this sound because I can do multiple sounds on a bass drum. I could do a muted note, but I could also do a big booming note. So um, when I listen to like James Brown, to me it sounds like an open drum tone, you know? So I was trying to get that more of an old school vintage type of sound with that kind of vibe. And I've been actually doing that on the bigger drum sets also. I've been keeping 24 inch bass drums with the big boomy bass drum, toms, same thing. Um, snare is kind of close to the same thing. And then when I do more of a punchy sound or like a rock sound or a hip hop sound, I'll play so, sometimes my same drum set, the big, you know, 12, 13, 16, 18, the same kit I play, but I put two plot heads on it. Um, so the bass drum is more punchy and it sounds like the usual bass drum you know, you're used to with a pillow, but I don't use a pillow. <laughs> I use a, just a really, you know, two ply bass drum head. And what I try to do is I try to also keep it open, but not so open that it's like this. Um, more of a more of a punchy tone, and I'll put a I'll put a towel on the bottom, because a lot of times we'll put two mics on the bass drum, so I'll put a towel on the bottom, and they'll sit it in the bass drum, and then they'll have one on the outside, and then the toms are usually tuned high, super high, and super low. I learned that from Virgil Donati, because Virgil tunes do do bo bo, so that's kind of how the sound of that is, and the snare is always open. Those are the main two ways I tune. Uh, what I like to look for when I'm tuning is I like to check the bottom heads because a lot of times that's always the problem. It's the bottom heads. So um, I don't have any magical tip on tuning. I've been doing it for a very long time and I've, I've you know, I've messed up a lot of times, but I, I try, if, if a drum is giving me a lot of trouble, <laughs> I'll just take it off the stand and I'll hit the bottom head like it's the top head, just trying to figure it out. Um, I don't really understand the whole magic or the whole tech, well, the whole chemistry in tuning a drum, but I know what my ear hears, you know, so I try to make sure the, the sides, I'll hit the sides and make sure none of them are flappy, you know. But I'm not one of those guys who tunes each, like, lug. I've seen that on drum videos where a guy will tune, make sure each drum is the same pitch, and I don't do that. And a lot of times I don't have the opportunity I, I've been playing in South America where they barely give me new heads. <laughs> so <I'm> like, <laughs> Tell everybody who you're playing with there and the size yeah. arenas you play in. How do you tune those drums? Um, I, I play with Residente. We do really big places, but a lot of times I don't have my own kit because we're traveling on planes and we're playing places like Colombia, Peru, um, Ecuador, Costa Rica. So a lot of times I have to just get what they give me. And um, I just try to like get the drums to sound Usually, usually how I'm used to them, but like a lot of times it's really a trial and error. You know, I, I'll tune the bottoms. I, I play drums that have fallen apart. I play, sometimes they'll have a five piece, but not have an 18. So my 18 will be a whole nother drum company. I'll have a true 18 floor time with a DW drum set. And that's happened a lot. Um, it's, I just, it's just trial and error, but I, I try to make sure I really focus on it. Like I'll sit there, I'll set my whole drum set up and then I'll be like, okay, now let's tune them. And, um, it's a different beast, because there's a lot of people who can really play but don't know how to tune a drum set. So I had to really like, again, I'll mention Virgil Donati. I did a drum clinic tour with Virgil Donati, and I just watched how much time he spent on it. But it made a big difference, because you hear a guy playing all this crazy stuff and the drums sound, don't sound that great. It's not the same as when the drums are super sound and good. When he plays all that stuff, you be like, ah! I remember um, Dave Weckl, Back in the day, back to the basics, drum sounds super good. Um, you see Vinny Caliuta, pretty much every record, drum sounds super good, you know. And then I also, you know, watch Steve Gadd, where <clears throat> people hit Steve Gadd drums and they just sound horrible until he plays them, which is a whole different mindset, which almost is on some touch, you know. So I just try to get them to sound good with what I'm doing. And what I also notice is that every drum sounds different when you play with different sticks. Like you play a certain cymbal with a different stick, it'll sound 
one way, and then you play it with your stick, it'll sound a different way. So it's all trial and error, but that's the kind of stuff that I figured out at this point. <laughs>